let's take a look at the no-code AI app builder in action. Let's choose another production deployment from my MLOps dashboard. I'll pick this risk management model that predicts the likelihood of loan default. My business user, Ina, on the risk management team needs a way to score a list of new applicants, but she knows nothing about DataRobot. Here I choose Create Application, and I'll pick the Comparison App Template, so Ina can also do some what-if analysis on her new applicants. I'll call it Loan Approval App, and click Create. Once that's done, I see my new app at the top of the list here. I click Edit, and I'm prompted to sign in and authorize read-write access to the app. I'm now in the no-code app builder, and I can see the basic template that will be Ina's homepage. Firstly, I want to select all the features I want Ina to see when she uploads her list of new applicants. I'll pick a few relevant ones that were pulled from the training data here, and add them over on the right. I can also reorder them how I like. Let's put the applicant ID first in the list, rearrange a few others, and save. That looks better. Now I'll add some interesting data visualizations to the page. I'll select a bar chart and click to configure it. Let's have loan grade as a dimension. and loan amount as the metric. And I can change the color of the bars here. Next, I'll add a single value tile and configure it to show the average annual income of the new applicants. I can also create some categories to change the color of the tile based on some thresholds I set. This helps alert me to exceptional values in the data. Let's add another tile and configure that one too. You get the idea. In no time at all, I can build out a rich dashboard for Ina to use for her new applicants. Now I want to configure the detail page that Ina sees when she clicks into an applicant. Let's pick the features and order them as before for a couple of these sections. At the bottom of the page, I manage the features Einel will use to perform what-if scenarios and optimize different loan configurations for each new applicant. Okay, that looks good. Okay, back on the template for the homepage, I can preview how the app looks on various different devices, including HD monitors, tablets, and phones. It looks great to me. Let's now save and share this app with Ina so she can start using it right away. Now we switch to Ina's iPad. She just got an email that the app is ready and opens up the link. She signs into the app and approves her device. Ina retrieves her list of new applicants from a live data set in DataRobot's AI catalog. She selects it here. Her app is now scoring all 3,000 or so new applicants. Done. She can now see a list of her new applicants along with their prediction scores. This applicant is 60% likely to default. She drills in. 
Ina sees all the information about this applicant, including detailed prediction explanations, outlining why they were considered high risk. At the bottom of the page, Ina creates a few what-if scenarios to experiment with different loan parameters to see if she can find a configuration that lowers the risk for her company, but also keeps her customer happy. And she did all this using a secure AI-driven application that took just a few minutes to build and absolutely no code. Simply amazing.